What happened on November the 7th of 2020? Well, on November the 7th, I was uh, with a few friends out in the uh, city centre handing out leaflets, calling out the reliability of the PCR test. Uh, when I was on my way home, when the police pounced on me and arrested me. Some of you may have seen the arrest video that's been put up. Um, from there, um, I was charged with organising and facilitating a protest uh, and was facing the £10,000 fine on I think it was the third court hearing they dropped that to attending the protest um, and then uh, a few more court hearings along it was seven including this one in total um, the last one being the trial they rolled us over we stood and fought well I stood and fought for six hours um, and argued the the toss on everything, common law, admiralty law, uh, equity law, you name it, uh, and they just rolled me over anyway uh, and fined me. £660, uh, £66 for the Victim Association, £200 costs. Uh, and this hearing today was overturning that conviction. Now that clears the way for me to uh, go after them. But the objective was achieved. We set out to expose the corruption and show um, what shit show the, our legal system is in this country, and I think I've achieved that. Um, what happened with the uh, car incident when you were arrested? Well, that one, I was caught with Gary and Kathy in the car. We'd gone to um, try and get our phones back three days after the original arrest. The police saw us uh, and jumped out, basically told us we couldn't have our phones. And as we drove away from Bethel Street Police Station, literally two minutes later, we were swamped by six police cars, about 20 police officers, uh, where again they reported us for a breach of act that went to a trial another six hour trial where the same thing they rolled us over again and uh yeah that was a 230 pound fine on that one so that one still stands i'm still waiting to hear on that one but that'll be the next one we get overturned but yeah we're winning um how much are you going to um see the courts well i don't know that's um there's apparently on the government website there's a sort of a sort of chart on how much you get for each various bit but i know it was uh roughly uh, well, 60 hours in police cells, uh, two arrests uh, and two assaults, uh, and 141 days on bail conditions banning me from anywhere within the city. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be suing them for quite a bit, I should think. I'm not entirely sure. I've preferred numbers that are ranging from 80,000 to 250,000. Mm -hmm. But it's about getting justice. It's about making them pay for what they did. It's not about the money itself. It's about winning, <laughs> exposing the corruption and beating them. Humanity wins. So obviously, um, with your bail charges, you weren't around, uh, allowed around certain parts of the city. No, anywhere um, within the ring road, which is three quarters of Norwich City, isn't it? Really? How, how did that affect um, work for you? Well, that meant uh, well, I lost my job as I was working for an agency um, when the lockdown first started, uh, and that made it impossible for me to actually get a job because you couldn't go anywhere within the city boundaries. Also, because my car was off the road at the time and obviously I'd lost my job, I didn't have the money to get it repaired at that particular moment, that meant I couldn't go anywhere either because I couldn't use public transport. So it really did yeah, affect me quite badly, that did. Yeah. Because 141 days is a long time. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right.